welcome to my channel hope you guys are doing well my name is sandra if you're new here hello welcome and if you're returning thank you so much i am a fifth year medical student in russia and basically i'm here to give you advice for freshers you know if you're a fresher coming to russia to study medicine i'm going to throw a few general tips you know for studying in russia whether you're coming to study economics or international relations or whatever it is this advice can also be for you but there will be some specifics for medical students because as you can see i am a medical student anyway so if you're a medical student you should know that this place we wear lab coats so that is if you are going to carry your lab coat from home if you have a lab coat from home and you want to carry it yes you can carry it and if you don't have a lab coat you can come here and buy some but if you're going to classes you need a white lab coat one tip is you can have maybe more than one lab coat so that you'll be able to you know be comfortable because you're always wearing it to class and so when you're when you wash one maybe you can be wearing the other so you can buy maybe two lab coats another tip that i'll give you a general tip this is for anyone that is coming to russia is that when you're coming my story is that when i was coming the first day when i reached moscow it was snowing it was bad i had never seen snow before <laughs> I had never felt the cold before and it was really cold it was snowing so make sure when you're coming you prepare yourself for that you know just in case you come in the times that you guys come in it's usually cold so prepare yourself for that get a warm jacket dress warm when you're coming already you know that is a general tip for everyone yeah when you come here for classes I'm not here to tell you how to study because girl I don't think I'm the right person to teach you how to study <laughs> but I'm going to give you I'm going to tell you that try to really make it for lectures especially when you are in your first year try please try the thing about this place is that you are your own person you are your own human no one is forcing you to do anything you understand so if you decide not to go for lectures it's on you if you decide not to do anything it's on you nobody is going to flog you whip you lash you cane you whichever name that you know yeah so everything is on you you have to make your own decisions so try for me i would say if you start a new lecture right during the um, the beginning of the semester try to go to the lecture and see how it is see how it's going and everything if it's a very very serious subject honey you wouldn't want to miss because um if the teacher also teaches really well then please try to really make it to lectures you know if um it's not so much of a serious subject this is not a bad advice but if it's not so much of a serious subject then you can decide whether you want to be coming how many times or you want to be skipping how many times also you have to think about how the teacher takes it some teachers take attendance very very seriously so you take that into consideration if the teacher is taking the attendance too high then maybe you should really try to be going just to avoid problems with the teacher talking of problems with teachers here especially medical school i think it's it's all the subjects actually all the courses in russia right the way it is the teacher has a lot of power so if you can try to stay out of trouble you know with your teachers like try not to have problems with your teachers if it happens fine but if you can really avoid it i think please just try and avoid it you know <laughs> because if maybe a teacher doesn't like you my dear you can suffer huh? so just try to avoid problems with teachers also please be taking notes okay i said i'm not here to tell you how to study because i don't think i'm the right person but if you go for lectures and the lectures are really good you can be taking photos with your phone or you can be recording with your phone or you can be um taking notes depending on how fast you are you know there was a subject that it became really easy for me because of 
I was because I was recording the teacher when I came back home I was listening you know sometimes when I was doing something I was listening oh I was on fire before Lord Jesus please bring my fire back amen you know so it depends just try to show up and see how the teachers are how the teachers are behaving you know <laughs> and see how you would also respond to it you know another thing is this is a general advice when you're far away from home right anything can happen I mean you can be influenced both positively and negatively example is where I am right now in my city you know if you want to go to club honey you will find people to go to club with if you want to go to club you'll find a place to club if you want to this is gonna chill there are people to chill with there is a good environment for you to chill if you want to learn there's a good environment also for you to learn if you want to be doing church 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 there is a good environment for you to be doing church 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 usually some uh, some cities have student ministries so maybe when you go to your city you can try to find the student ministry that is there or maybe if there's a Russian church that a lot of students go to you know try to go there if you are that person that is interested in all those growth and spiritual growth and whatever you can have all of that here when I came first year I remember one advice that someone gave me is that Russia there is camera all around <laughs> I don't know why the person said that but well they were like there is camera all around even in my hostel like, there is camera all around so please don't steal because if you steal you are going to be embarrassed like unless you really want to steal okay that's your own problem but if you think you steal or you take someone's thing or you enter someone's room and take something and nobody is going to find you it is a lie it is a lie <laughs> you're going to be found out yes and if you are going to be embarrassed basically there have been instances where um my friend lost money or something and we're like okay we're going to the whoever is in charge of these cameras and we went for the footage and we saw the person that entered the room and such an embarrassment you know so kindly leave any theft behavior outside before you enter russia thank you very much i would say try to open your mind just open your mind because where we come from you obviously have some things that you believe in some things that some cultural things some things that maybe your country or your area or whatever you believe in so much you know when you come here you really have to open your heart and your arms <laughs> because you're meeting people from all over the world and when i say all over the world i really mean it you're meeting people from first of all russia you are meeting that is a whole different culture um, you're meeting people from different parts of Africa. You're meeting people from. Uh, I've met someone from Peru. I've met someone from Vietnam, China, China, Chinese, China. All those people are here, and so you really have to open your your mind. You understand? Open your mind so that you can be able to uh, relate with not relate but you can be able to live with these people in your studies i would say it all comes down to you your discipline and you you are an adult like, no matter you get here you are expected to get your ish together and just behave as an adult so it all comes down to discipline you know and i guess proper time management make really good use of the internet you can literally learn anything on youtube you can you can do a whole bunch of things you know so don't waste your years in medical school as you are here just know that life isn't just about medical school life is broad life is big and so do well to educate yourself in other areas too you know go after certain interests that you have so that by the end of the six or seven years you still you'll be having maybe a skill that you have learned or a language that's yeah if you learn a language maybe you by the end of six years you shouldn't have only your 
certificate you understand you should you should have something else you should carry something else with you whether it is the way you have opened your mind whether it is some knowledge that you have had you know just make sure that uh, you internalize the fact that life is bigger than med school life is bigger than being a doctor so another tip that i'm going to give you is that ask for help when you need it for example if you're in medical school and you need help with anatomy or biochemistry there are your seniors or someone from your country maybe you can ask for help if you want of course if you don't want you can figure it out on your own you can watch youtube videos you can you know a lot of things are online freely google is there yandex is there for being in russia yeah a lot of things a lot of materials are there for you to utilize freely so make sure you make good use of the internet you make good use of the resources that are available to you the people that are around you who will be willing to help you you understand you feel free and make sure you are just in charge of your life you are in control you are the boss of your life be a boss babe of your own life be in charge know the consequences of every single thing that you're going to do you know i am like the cool auntie so whatever you want to do baby if you i'm not advising you to do anything crazy but i'm just telling you that whatever you do make sure you know the consequences and you're willing to you know face them you understand yeah which in includes the boyfriend issue the whatever you want to do <laughs> if you want to drink my dear you know it i'm not i'm not the one to tell you anything but i'm trying to say everything is possible in this place so do what you can do what you want to do what is allowed in your own life you know and just to tell you russia when i came here I, I used to be so so shocked like i'll be walking maybe here the next person the, the person behind me is smoking the person before me is smoking and it was just so uncomfortable you understand and i knew about passive smoking i'm like i am a passive smoker you guys are actually smoking but i am also a passive smoker and that is even more dangerous you know it was just something weird to me but eventually i've gotten used to it russians just like smoke they smoke a lot a whole lot so if you are a medical student or if you're studying any other subject in russia if you have any advice for these freshers coming to russia please put it in the comment section and i am going to pin the comment that i feel like is really really helpful so that people are going to see it so i guess that is it for today if you have any questions my contact is going to be in the description box my instagram my email my facebook it's going to be in the description box so try to reach out to me if you have any questions and yeah we're going to see from there thank you so much for watching my video and i'll see you another time Bye. make sure you give this video a thumbs up and do well to subscribe so that you're going to see my videos first whenever i post them